Alfie the Albino Alligator, written and illustrated by Pip Cheerio. Reading to children is one of the most important things you can do as a parent. In the first few years of life, a child's developing brain is like a sponge that absorbs everything it hears. For this very reason, it is vital that children hear a variety of words, whether they understand them or not. It will introduce them to a richer vocabulary. You need not worry about your child grasping every word you read to them. The child will have no trouble following the story as their imagination is boundless. Several years ago, on a moonlit night deep in the Florida Everglades near Alligator Alley, there was a nest full of alligator eggs. Mommy Gator kept watch over her eggs and protected them from the dangers in the marsh. That night, Mommy Gator heard the first squeals coming from within her eggs, signaling that her young ones were ready to hatch. She made sure to remove the vegetation covering the eggs to make it easier for them to be born. Mommy Gator watched patiently as her little alligators broke through the white shells. The first thing the baby saw was Mommy Gator. All of a sudden, Mommy Gator saw something she had never seen before emerge from one of her eggs. It was a white baby alligator. Other than his color, he looked completely normal. Just then, they heard a rustling from the brush behind Mommy Gator. She looked over and saw Daddy Gator come to check on the babies. I heard them squeal all the way across the water, he said as he approached the nest. How are they doing, he asked. They're doing very well, but there's something you should know. Before Mommy Gator could finish, Daddy Gator smiled. Oh, one of them is an albino. That's very rare. Mommy Gator was stunned. You've seen this before? Daddy Gator answered, Well, no, but I heard it happen sometimes. She wanted to make sure. Is he okay? Daddy Gator laughed. Ha ha ha! Yes, he's just a different color. Mommy Gator was relieved. She was happy her baby would be okay, no matter what color he was. That night, Daddy Gator and Mommy Gator discussed what they would name the babies. They called the albino alligator Alfie. Growing up was not easy for Alfie. Many of the other gators called him names and made fun of his color. He did not understand why they disliked him so much. One day, Alfie had trouble catching food and was very hungry. He came upon a group of alligators that were huddled around some fish they had caught. Hi guys, do you have any spare fish? One of the gators began to answer, Sure Alfie, we have a lot of... But he was quickly interrupted by the biggest alligator who growled, No Alfie, go away. We don't have any food for someone so strange. Alfie was devastated and walked away with his head hung low. He could hear his empty stomach growling so loudly it scared away all the birds. Alfie had to keep looking for food if he was going to eat. As he searched the marsh, he could not find anything to eat. All the wildlife along the shore scattered as soon as he approached. They all quickly spotted the white alligator in the bright sunlight. By early afternoon, Hungry and tired from swimming around, Alfie decided to float for a while. It was an open area with lots of water. All around him, there were patches of tall marsh grass blocking his view. Alfie closed his eyes and was about to doze off when he heard a rumbling sound far off in the distance. It did not sound like any animal he had ever heard before, and it got louder by the second. Something was coming his way. The albino alligator lowered himself in the water until only the top of his head and eyes peeked out. He wanted to hide from whatever made that rumbling noise. He could even hear it underwater. Seconds later, an airboat shot over a patch of marsh grass and sped his way. Those were humans on that airboat. They had all sorts of tools that alligators did not understand. He decided to remain hidden. Alfie swam out of the airboat's way as it passed by, but made sure to get a close look at the humans. They looked much different than he had imagined. One of them held something that caught his eye, a clear bag with something white inside of it. 
Before the airboat got too far, it caught a rough patch of water and wobbled for a bit, almost tipping over. The passenger nearly fell out of his chair. Alfie saw him drop the clear bag, which fell in the water. The driver of the airboat managed to regain control, and Alfie watched as it sped away and disappeared. It did not look like it was coming back. Suddenly, a glimmer in the water caught Alfie's eye. It was the sun glistening off of the clear bag. Alfie realized it was still floating in the water. He swam towards it to see what was inside. When he got close enough, he noticed it was open. A white piece had floated out from the inside. Alfie thought it smelled delicious. He was so hungry, he decided to taste it. Alfie could not believe his luck! It was a marshmallow and the best thing he had ever tasted. In fact, it was a whole bag of marshmallows. The albino alligator grabbed the bag with his jaws and walked back home. Along the way, he noticed other alligators look at him from a distance, but none asked about his bag. Once he got back, he dumped all the marshmallows onto the ground in front of him. Alfie then treated himself to another marshmallow, which tasted as good as the first. Well, look who we have here, Alfie heard from across the clearing. It was those same alligators from before, the ones who did not want to share their fish with him. Hi, guys, Alfie said as he chomped down on another marshmallow. One of the smaller alligators looked curiously at the white pile in front of Alfie. What are you eating, Alfie? I found a bag of marshmallows, he told them. They were shocked. That's an alligator's favorite treat. Marshmallows, they all asked together. Even the big alligator looked stunned. Alfie told them, I could not believe my luck. Some humans dropped a bag from an airboat and left it. Would you guys like to try some of these? Yes, said the big alligator. But we did not share our fish with you. You still want to share with us? Of course I do, Alfie told them. It's always nice to enjoy delicious treats with your friends. The alligators looked at each other and smiled. I was right, Alfie. You are different, said the big alligator. You're much nicer than we are. We're sorry for not sharing with you. Don't worry about it, said Alfie. Now you know that I'm a gator just like you. See, I love marshmallows as all alligators do. But hurry up and eat some. These are so yummy I can't help myself. It took the gators about seven seconds to finish the entire bag. And the marshmallows were delicious. The end.